What's going on, you guys? Bridget West here, hanging out. Can't be on the camera here. For first, I don't know what I was saying. First, in a few minutes, we're gonna be going to Walmart. Woo! I guess that would have been second because first, <laughs> we just got done watching Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Great, as usual, it was a really good episode. And then the seen it, show after it. I don't want to discuss it. I don't either. We watched this other show, <laughs> Man Seeking Woman. I was expecting, okay, if you don't know, I don't know, the, I forget the guy's name. He is the hipster from uh, This Is The End. Uh, Jay, I think his name was. I think so. Uh, it's a show for hipsters. That's, that's all I can say. Uh, man Seeking Woman, he started going on a date with a troll. And I, at first I was like, oh, he's going to wake up. This I'm might just be like, yeah, funny. it's a dream. It's totally a dream, right? But he wasn't dreaming. <laughs> we didn't even watch five minutes of it. I know. Then I was like, let me pull up and review this show. <laughs> IGN gave it 8.5, by the way. Nice call on that one, IGN. Uh, and IGN specifically notes that his girlfriend starts dating 126-year-old Adolf Hitler. So I said, bye-bye, I'm not watching show no more. So we turned it off, we deleted it, never watching it again. Look, I feel bad about talking crap about IGN because I like IGN. I like IGN too, but they failed me on this review. I agree. You failed me, IGN. I freaking agree. So it's Thursday, we're gonna go to Walmart, I'm gonna have a Throwback Thursday story for you tonight. So let's get our Thursday started. I can tell the future. We're gonna buy groceries. I can tell the future too. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Chances are you're right. Aww. <laughs> so here we go. Thursday getting started. Well, we are in Walmart right now. And we are at the aisle that I shouldn't be in. Look. I want them. No, no, no. Don't get them. Look at it. Okay. Oreo minis with Reese's. Let's just try one and then we'll throw it away. It's everything I've dreamed of. Let's get it. So, we're on Walmart. We're looking for some stuff. For food. For... What? So let me just walk by and give you this, like, like the craziest look. Like, how dare I be filming in Walmart? They're walking by, they go. Well, fuck them. Get the fuck out of Walmart. Let's go film her. No. Come on. So, anyway, I just got a look. She's gone. I love this one. Which one? Both of them. Well, does this say lots of pulp? Lots of pulp and Ew, calcium. Dude. Who likes pulp? Like that much pulp? Dude, I love pulp. It's so Sorry. good. Yeah, there's too much of it. No, look at this. Oh, Lord. Let's see how much this, how much this really has. <gasps> That's a lot of pulp. That's a little too much pulp. I hope, if you hold it up, because if the camera can't see it, I'm going to show them. So. You can't tell, the pulp is to here. Yes, I want it, I want it. Why do you like that much pulp? Dude, it's so good. It actually tastes like you juiced it yourself, but you didn't. And Actu then you gotta get your calcium intake. So you get two different orange juices. Yeah. Ooh, this is, the, where's the one that I really like that you got? Yep, this one. Nope, no, it's this one. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a banana drinker. Do you want it? I'm not a banana fan, yeah. But Bridget got this banana and orange pineapple juice and it's delicious. It is really good. South Carolina is home to pimento cheese. But not Ruth's. Ooh. Who's Ruth? Some brand that isn't that good. Does everybody have pimento cheese or just like local? I don't know. We have local, but Ruth's isn't local, so I don't know. Oh, okay. What is this one? Oh, That's local. <laughs> Look how much better it looks. Oh my god, I want it. Are y'all keeping it? Is it me? Yeah, man. Yeah. Filming right now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I watch those videos, yeah. Yeah, man, cool. <laughs> what are the odds of that? Right when That's pretty filming. funny. Yeah, nice yeah. to meet you, man. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, man. Okay. You mind us using the vlog? Uh, sure. Alright. Alright. Oh, if you're. Do both. Back in the day, we used to come to the store. Every time we'd come, mom would chuck stuff. Do it. Like, no, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> mom, and mom wouldn't throw little things. Uh, we'll see, for example, one time 
mom threw a big can of like tomatoes. What? Like the big ones. I'm like, dude, you were going to kill somebody. Oh my god. Or like I'd be walking out on next to see an egg. I'm like, oh, that was mom. Oh god, it's cold. Oh my god, I'm not even wearing a hoodie or anything. You know, you remember uh, last week you were bitching because you said, oh, this doesn't feel like winter, it's too hot. I know. And I said, oh no, uh, winter sucks. I know. <laughs> the doors to a spaceship opening? <laughs> anyway, I was right. Whatever. It is too cold. This sucks. I like winter. Are you awful, angry grandpa? Yeah. I watch your stuff all the time, man. Film right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, man. I'm Bradley. I'm Michael. Did you know, yeah. <laughs> That's the guy off Angry Grandpa. <laughs> this is my little brother Waylon. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's us. <laughs> Can you take a look at this? Yes. Okay. How was your day, Bella? So just a minute ago, uh, I turned on the camera because I wanted to film Bella because she was being really cute next to me. <laughs> and the second I opened the camera, she just takes off running. Fuck you! <laughs> you know, that's basically what it was. Like, oh, Bella, hold still. Fuck you, bye-bye. <laughs> Took off running. That was very funny. Why'd you do that to me, Bella? Whenever I hold one, the others get jealous. Look at <laughs> oh. this. I'm holding lazy, and now the other two are starting to swarm. Hey, lazy. Hey, you're lazy. You want that? Whoa. His breath sinks so bad. No. -uh. Oh! <laughs> God. God! Well, that's gonna be about it for today. But as you can see, there's still a couple more minutes to go on the vlog. So it's not totally the end. Because I wanted to tell a Throwback Thursday story. Now, I may have told this story before because it's so fucked up. It's one of my worst memories in life that chances are I probably have told it. So, excuse me if I've told it before. If you've heard it, go ahead and skip it. Maybe, let's say four minutes. Skip, skip ahead four minutes, although I'll probably still be talking. I decided to tell this story because we're about to go on our family vacation to Philadelphia. So I thought I would talk about our last family vacation, which was about 2002. Uh, Grandpa uh, had just bought a brand new van and a Shasta camper. Uh, you know, we really, we loved that camper. We even lived in it for a little while when we were homeless. Uh, that's another vlog. So we got this Shasta camper and this brand new van, and Dad decides at the drop of the hat, man, we need to go on a goddamn family vacation. He'd been watching too much TV. I think he had just watched the episode of Malcolm in the Middle where they decided to go to the water park. We need to do some shit like that for us. So he decided we were going to go to, I don't know where it was anymore. Uh, the Santee River or something, some sort of lake. Uh, it was about three hours from our house, and we packed up the camper, and we drove out that way. Hours later, we showed up to the vacation spot. We set up the camper, and Dad decides, we need to go get us a goddamn boat, Bo, because I want to go fishing. So me, my sister, and her husband at the time decided that we were going to go find a boat so we could go fishing. And we found this little place. They rent you boats by the hour. And I thought we were going to get this nice boat. I was like, oh, we're renting a boat. It went, you could call it a boat. It was a piece of floating tin. It was a John boat. Uh, these John boats are tiny and... <laughs> look, that's all we got to say. They're tiny. It's like we set sail on it. <laughs> You know, like, this thing already felt unsafe when we pulled off the dock. And we're going in the water. <laughs> we're going. <laughs> thing sounds like it's ready to break down. Oh, this boat's on his last leg. I'm sure by now it's sitting in a junkyard somewhere. My sister's husband thought of himself as a navigator of sorts. Like he was the Santee River Christopher Columbus. He thought, oh, I know my way through this. And they give you a map so you can manage your way out of their park. He didn't care. He decides to skip it and go straight ahead. And about 10 minutes into the water ride, poof, we hit something and the boat stops. Oh, God. Let me paint the picture for you for a second. We're in this little John boat, three people. All we've got is a whistle. It's daylight and we're in the middle of nowhere. We look around, all you see is water. As far as, you are, as, far as the eye can see, there are no other boaters, nobody, and we're stuck. We don't know what we're gonna do. We're screaming, help! Nobody's coming to save us. Hours go by. We went there about 10 o'clock in the morning and now it's starting to turn sunset. We're getting scared now. Are we gonna die on this thing? We're talking about swimming. <laughs> you know, like, okay, 
We're, worst case scenario, we get to jump for it and swim. We're fucked. At one point earlier in the day, we decided to take the boat and switch it to the other side of the boat. That's the kind of boat we're dealing with. We can move the motor to the other side of the boat. So, I mean, I don't know how most boats are, but I don't think you can do that. So we switch the motor and we start going. But as we're doing that, the boat's sinking and water starts flooding into the boat. We're like, okay, we're sinking. This is it. We are going to die here. The boat is filling with water. The sun is burning the shit out of me. I take my shirt off. I'm screaming. I'm blowing on this whistle. A boat comes by at one point and they don't save us. They're just waving. Hey! We're screaming. Ah! They're just waving back. Y'all having fun? No! Finally, it's dark. I'm almost passed out on the boat from a heat stroke. I'm like, <sighs> I can't breathe. A fo another boat comes up shining a light. You guys okay? We're like, help us. The boat puts a chain on the other boat and they drag us to this place called Goat Island. And <sighs> that's, you know, it sucks. We are stranded. We're burning. Finally, we get saved, and finally, we go back to the camp. But Dad's like, where the fucking hell you goddamn been? Like, uh, hello? We've been trapped in the middle of the water. I thought that my nightmare was over. Not quite. The next day, turns out I had sun poisoning. I had been out in the sun for so long, my skin was red. I looked like a freaking lobster, and I couldn't move. <laughs> I'm just laying in the bed, like, planking down. Every time Dad would come in, goddamn, you look like shit, bro. No shit. I hurt. Dad would occasionally sneak in the hole. <laughs> and here I am, the most painful experience of my life. He slaps me on the back with the sunburn. I'm screaming. He doesn't care. My back's bleeding. It's got pus oozing out all over the place. It's, I had sun poisoning, dude. No bullshit. I was poisoned by the sun. <laughs> so, uh, everybody else finishes their vacation. They're fishing. I hear them outside singing Kumbaya, roasting marshmallows, and I'm on the freaking couch in the camper crying. <laughs> It's, it was horrible. The next day, about three days later, when I say the next day, we decide to leave. I'm huddled up in a blanket on the van, shivering, and I start vomiting. <laughs> you know, I was sick, dude. I was so sick that I didn't get off the couch for two weeks. I had sun poisoning. I thought I was going to die. So that was the story of our last vacation. We got a camper. We rented a boat. The boat broke down. I got sun poisoning. My vacation was ruined. So let's hope the trip to Philadelphia is a little bit better. That's going to be it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, follow favorite, follow her on everything. Oh, and all my links are below. Nope. Yeah. And that's it. Alright, think of it like the price is right. Spin the wheel. Think of the price is right. Hmm. Get to spinning, man. How about that, see? Hey, that thing spins, man. Free, free. Free. <laughs>